Roy Moore's being a pain in the tail, <laughs> and we're just letting him know that we don't appreciate it. No more hate. <laughs> Hear that, Moore? Hear that, Roy? No more. Theocracy is not democracy. We stand firmly for the separation of church and state and the separation of religion and government. Religion is not a sound basis for public policy, and that theocracy, whether it's Christian, Muslim, Jewish, whatever, is bad for America. There is no basis to decide any case based on the Bible or one's own private interpretation of the Bible. There's a, a great example that got him thrown off the bench initially, and that was his refusal to remove a Ten Commandments monument from the courthouse square in Montgomery. This is my third time We're doing this again. Uh, last time a protest was in Montgomery over a decade ago for his Ten Commandments monument on trial. And here we still are. And um, I was out there with a bunch of people, mostly atheists like myself, who um, support the separation of church and state. That was a clear violation of the separation of church and state. It was a clear First Amendment Establishment Clause violation. And it was a violation of the Alabama Constitution. I certainly think that Roy Moore is bright enough to know better. After all, he did go to law school. He thinks that women um, should be legally bound to the laws in the Bible and not the laws in the Constitution. And I'm here because Aura filed a ethics complaint against Judge Roy Moore back in July and I want him to know that we have not forgotten and we're going to hold him accountable. The separation of church and state is essential. Um, we are a nation of many faiths and people without any religious affiliation. This has been a decade ago. Um, he actually used someone's religion. They weren't religious. They were someone who was a lesbian. And I remember her losing custody of her child um, to an abusive father. But it was based on his religious principles and not the rule of law. It specifically points to the Declaration of Independence saying that our inalienable, right, inalienable rights uh, come from God and or the Creator. Funny thing is, it was just last weekend I took a picture of a monument we have to the Declaration of Independence in our park, and uh, in the section where it has the three statements, nature's God, creator, and laws of the universe. Those are specifically deist terms. Nowhere in there does that refer to a biblical God, and I don't know how in the world Roy believes that he can make, turn that into a biblical reference, because it's not. Additionally, Thomas Jefferson drafted the Declaration of Independence, and he was probably the least Christian of all the founders. Um, well, Roy Moore, is I believe a Southern Baptist and he has uh, continued to rule and make statements based on the most conservative interpretation of the dogma, doctrine and discipline of that particular denomination. You know, as my son says uphold religious freedom just because I'm an atheist doesn't mean I don't agree with people having their religion and being able to practice it freely. I would like to think that if someone was being denied their right to practice their religious religion freely, that I would step in and protest for them as well. But um, that's not what Roy Moore is doing. He is trying to push his own personal religious beliefs upon the people in the state of Alabama. And enough's enough. It's important to me because without the separation, nobody has religious liberty. There are many, many people <laughs> that stand for the separation of church and state, regardless of their religion. There are many others that um, happen to have agree with, with me, happen to agree with us atheists on that, including Reverend Barry Lind, a Baptist who is the founder and executive director of Americans United for the Separation of Church and State. He is using the bench as his pulpit. Roy's contention is that everyone's free to pick any flavor of Christianity they'd like, and that's just not the way it works. Um, Jefferson himself believed that religion uh, was a personal journey and that is a journey that the government should not have friends upon. So I think what he's doing, because he, he, he repeatedly makes statements about how, you know, we don't have to follow what a federal judge says, and um, basically ignoring um, the, the rest of the ju judicial system in the country, um, it makes us look like rubes in Alabama, uh, and, and that's embarrassing. But it costs us money.
every time we have to defend one of those actions that he, he makes that is, is wrong. He's the chief justice of this state. I mean, um, he's supposed to interpret the law, not to flout it. I want people to Google Foundation for Moral Law which is the religious, le legal, legal religious organization that Roy Moore's wife runs, and he's the president emeritus of it, and they file briefs on all kind of court cases all over the country, and I want to know who's writing all those briefs. I don't think he's doing it because he believes in anything. I think he's doing it because he wants to get publicity, and I'm afraid he's going to run for governor. That terrifies me. Um, but I, I think this has nothing to do with his religious beliefs or his moral feelings. I think it's all about Roy. I think that's it's the religion of Roy. This is a, this is not a, a role model for um, any any youngsters thinking of. Uh, with aspirations to the legal profession or to a judgeship. Isn't it interesting that they've sent all the police out to protect Roy Moore from a bunch of peaceful protesters who obviously respect the law far more than he does? Um, representing one religion in the law is unconstitutional. Um, and it pigeonholes women and minorities and people of other faiths and alienates them from due process and from their constitutional rights. It's important for our legal system for people to be able to go in there and feel like they're going to get a fair and just verdict from any of the judges. And when you have a judge that's basing his decisions on the Bible, someone of another faith can't believe that they're going to receive justice and it undermines the whole theory of law in this country. Well, his orders to the uh, probate judges in Alabama to uh, stop issuing marriage licenses after the recent Supreme Court decision was a clear example of uh, using uh, theocratic principles over the law. Um, I felt that if nothing else, that would be the next thing that would get him removed from the bench. This isn't a Christian nation. This is a nation that was founded on the freedom of religion, and that includes the freedom from religion. He's just been a historical embarrassment, and, and it needs to stop. So just making an, Alabama an embarrassment. You know, we have enough to come, overcome historically. We don't need the present to make things worse. Leon loves freedom. Yeah, and that's awesome. he's, a, he's the real patriot around here. Yeah. He is. <laughs> You're not filming this. I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs>